I apologize, the video cut off. I told you it's going to go into another part. It's a long video. John claude Van Damme is at number four because he did movies like Universal Soldier, Double Impact, Blood Sports, Kickboxer, The Quest, Desert Heat. And he was in a movie called Unstendables uh, um, Part 2, where he gave us the best movie cinematic history, John claude Van Damme versus Sylvester Stallone, and then gave us more sequels of Universal Soldier. And to me, if John claude Van Damme wasn't stopped by temptation, he would have been in some of these newer movies. He would have been in Mission Impossibles, The Bourne Identities. He would have been in some of these superhero movies. If it weren't for Temptation, that's why I got John claude Van Damme on this list. Coming in at number three is Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris is a living legend. He done three movies, Missing in Action, The Good Guys Wear Black, um, and then he does a television show called Long Texas Walker Ranger. Do you know how easy it is? And then to create your own martial arts fighting style. The guy did some karate movies, television and film, producing, directing, writing, you name it, Chuck Norris has done it all. And Chuck Norris is a legend. The guy has his own cereal box, his own video games, his own comic books. He's in commercials. All of those commercials that you've seen. Now, when you talk about a man's man, when you talk about a real alpha male, when you talk about the personification of a real alpha male, that is Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris will do the stuff that's described in movies. Run into an abandoned warehouse with no regards to human life. If a house is burning on fire, he's running into the damn house on fire. Fighting two or three people at the same time. Everything you see in the movies, he actually will do for real. 